Kyra Saber. And uh, you're a free agent right now? Yeah, being a free agent right now is a bit tough during the lockout with no communications, not sure of where it is that I'm going to be this season. So it's good to be here in New Orleans, which is a home state, working with these guys, getting better, staying prepared. How'd you get involved with this? Well, Roman and I are good friends. Uh, Roman does, has done some work with my uh, foundation, Kai Cares, and um, we kind of help each other with off the field charities. And whenever I told him, you know, I was looking for somewhere to train, make sure I stay ready, he was like, oh, you should come down. And we talked to Drew, and all the guys were okay with it. So here I'm working. So as a free agent, uh, you know, how is the lockout really impacting your life? Uh, in a major way, well, it gave me a little more time to work on my foundation, give back to the community, do speaking engagements and host camps and whatnot for young boys and girls in Louisiana and Cincinnati. But it's also put a little bit of strain on me because I don't know where it is I'm going to be playing, where I'm going to be staying and all that kind of stuff. Is it close to the end for me? It's been 10 years of pro football. So just kind of antsy to see where it is that my career is going to be going. So as a veteran, you know, we're, we're just getting into the, the rookie premiere out in L.A. What advice do you have for rookies? Stay focused. Don't get caught up in what it is that's going on around you. Realize that football is your main payday. It is what you do, and that should always be your main priority. Uh, what, do you what kind of message do you have for the fans during the lockout? Patience. There will be football. Uh, so uh, when you were a young player, who was uh, your mentor, and what did they teach you? Well, I looked up to Corey Chavis my rookie year in Minnesota many years back, and he was a solid guy. He was one of those guys that always put focus first on football, never wanted to get outside of the game to try to get self published to publicize himself, but to always put team first. And that's been a pretty good formula, and it's worked over the last 10 years for me. So what are some important lessons that you've learned on the field that you translate into your off-the-field life? Stay ready. You never have to get ready.